What's up everybody? You are getting very, very sleepy. <laughs> I'm not gonna hypnotize you. But the good news for this week's vlog is that somebody is coming into VFH and they will be hypnotizing you. So stay tuned for that. Probably one of my favorite vlogs of the year because it has nothing to do with working out, which is what I'm all about. It's all about this fun social side of VFH. And I really think that we have a Team VFH member, Wayne Donnelly, coming in to do his hypnosis for us all. Comedy hypnosis, but he also does other things. We'll get chatting to him and we'll also be filming the show when he comes in. And I can't wait. Let's get it started right now. Choo-hoo! Alrighty everyone, we are here with the man, the myth, the legend, the one who's putting on the show for us today, Wayne, G'day. part of Team VFH as well. Yes. But you're not here to do a workout today. No, I did my workout at 5.30, so that's <laughs> out of the way. Yeah, you won the morning, <laughs> won the morning train of sight, never see Wayne actually. Um, what, what's happening today? Well, we're doing a comedy hypnosis show as a fundraiser for Ovarian Cancer Australia. That is perfectly said, yes. Wayne uh, is a hypnotist. And That's right. not only for comedy reasons, but also for other perks. Yes, I do, I've travelled the country several times doing comedy hypnosis shows right around Australia. When I travel, I also do therapy workshops. Yeah. So generally smoking and weight loss. Mm -hmm. uh, phobia workshops, they're quite popular for people who are scared of a heap of things. From snakes, spiders, uh, public speaking. For sure. The opposite sex. You know, like like the, um, the King's Speech. That's it. That's, That's it. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I know um, we, we've been off camera in cahoots because if you know me, if you know my history, you know that I have a tendency to sleepwalk. So I might have to get in touch with Wayne to see if we can fix that one up as well. That's right. Wow, well, well, that's going to be a good up one. In the comedy one. Yeah, so the shows, the, uh, the therapy work and also corporate speaking. So I'll go on the gigs and mm -hmm. speak to audiences, talk to them about the power that's in your unconscious mind. Okay. And so that can be helpful for not only your workplace, your career, your business, your relationship, your ability to pump more weights in the gym. <laughs> I need to look at a body. Yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah. maybe. And then stitching people up with the comedy stuff as well. Is that your most enjoyable part? I love it. They call it the therapist's revenge. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Good. No, like in the show, a really important thing is uh, I'm not going to make you look really stupid or embarrass you because. I want people to come back to the show. <laughs> yeah, you know, that'd be a great way to kill an audience. I feel like it, it, a lot of people not volunteer to go up because they just want to laugh at somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, the funny thing is, every show I go to without fail, I walk around the room and ask people who's going to be yeah, the like volunteer, this. and all the guys go, "Oh, she does," <laughs> uh, and all they say, "Oh, look, we've just come to watch." Mm -hmm. And I said, "Well, it's going to be a very quick show if everyone just watches." For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's we'll get to that. the good stuff now. We'll go straight to the show. You don't have to wait oh, around and fast wanna, forward. Do you want to be hypnotised now? Oh, yeah, can you? Is it that easy? Yeah. Nothing yeah. too awful. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Relax. Take a nice, easy, deep breath in through the nose. And just allow yourself to focus on the relaxation when you know they're so relaxed you can't open them. Fine, no matter how hard you try. They're just stuck. <laughs> That's right. So just keep focused on that relaxation. <laughs> Relaxed. And in a moment, I'm going to drop this hand. When I drop this hand, it'll be a signal for your unconscious to take you into a very deep sleep. And just drift all the way down, all the way deep. Drifting, dreaming, relaxing. I'm going to count to three, click my fingers. When you do, sit up. You'll be able to open your eyes. But your hand will be stuck to your head. One, two, three. Sit up, open your eyes. Now your hand's stuck to your head. And you try to unstick that hand to your head. The more you do, the more it sticks. The harder it sticks. Try to pull it off with the other hand. And now that hand's stuck to your head. Both hands stuck to your head. That's right. You cannot unstick that hand from your head. And it's really, really weird, isn't it? It's the weirdest thing. Now, this is just an ordinary iPhone. So you're probably easier to see it here. Now, Alex. When I click my fingers, those hands will come off your head and they'll be stuck to the phone. One, two, three. 
now they're stuck to the phone and the phone's stuck to your leg. Now again, you can try to unstick it, but the more you try to unstick it, it just stays stuck. Really try hard. And you do these workouts, you pump weights. Come on, <laughs> try to lift up the phone in vain. And it's just stuck. Pick it up and just get stuck to your forehead. And now it's stuck to your forehead. So we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. I think Alex is gonna be a star. <laughs> This is cool. Okay, so we better restore him. One, two, three, wide away. It's all okay. Holy! Oh, all the way down, all the way down. Wake up! That's it. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you. Okay, I think I need a lie down. <laughs> Good on you. Okay, we'll see you at the show or I'll see you in the gym if you don't make it tonight. Excellent. Oh. Injuries, ankles, hips, knees, lower back. Sorry? A little bit of an ankle injury. Can you dance? Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Can we see that now? So there's hip, no, that's just a simple suggestion. That <laughs> she was ready to go. Okay, so it's going to be very, very simple. What I'll get you to do is just put your hands in front of you again, six inches apart. He's lying. So is he. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, 15 centimetres I meant. So I forgot how young you were. <laughs> you got that? Or you... No? Okay. All right, so just allow yourself to close your eyes. Have a little laugh, it's alright. Take another easy deep breath in. And this time, as you breathe out slowly through your mouth, just allow waves of relaxation to flow through your body from the top of your head down to the tips of your toes. Just as your fingertips came together and had magnets in them, just imagine the world's strongest magnets are in the tips of your hands. And as your magnets, to let the magnets come closer and closer until they touch. When they touch, they'll get it twice as strong, twice as powerful until they lock it together. An unstoppable force. Now, just keep focus on how strong, how powerful the magnets are, that the world's strongest super glue is holding these arms, these hands together, and that there's gaffer tape wrapped around it. They're stuck, locked, super glued. Focus on them being stuck. They're stuck, test it, you'll find your arms are stuck. And no matter how hard you try and unstick your hands, your hands are stuck together. So when you know they're stuck, test them, and you find your hands are stuck. So when you know it, when you know they're stuck, you feel it, you feel them stuck, you can try to unstick them. That's right, but you can only try, because you try in vain. Did it, your arms are stuck, just lift your hands about a metre into the air, just so that I can see and the audience can see your hands are stuck together. So just lift them up, because your hands are stuck. Just take a nice, easy, deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just allow yourself to relax all the way down, all the way deep, as if you're just going to go to sleep. That's right, drift, dream, relax. The deeper you go, the better you feel. The better you feel, the deeper you go. Every tap on the shoulder, taking you 10,000 times deeper. Every word I say, every breath you take, will take you deeper and deeper. That's right. All the way to sleep, drifting, dreaming, relaxing. All the way down, all the way deep. Any noise you hear on the outside, all I need to sleep. Drifting, dreaming, relaxing. The deeper you go, the better you feel. Every breath you do, no, sleep. Drift, dream, relax. That's right. Every tap on your shoulder, going deeper, deeper, deeper. All the way down, all the way deep. Yeah. Beautiful. Go all the way down, all the way deep. Drift, dream, relax. Every muscle, every fibre, completely relaxed. And every tap on the shoulder, taking you 10,000 times deeper. This is good. So, um, as I grab that arm and lift it in the air, you're unconscious. Just allow your unconscious to take control of the arm and let it go stiff, rigid and powerful up into the air. So sitting up, stuck, stiff, rigid, powerful, like a rod of iron, a bar of steel. Rigid, hand into a fist, let it be rigid. And stuck, stiff, rigid, like a rod of iron, a bar of steel. Stuck, stiff, rigid, like a rod of iron, a bar of steel. Every breath you take, every word I say makes it sticker. Stuck, stiff, rigid, sitting up, 
stuck, stiff, rigid. Like some rotten hands, you can open your eyes and look up at your fist and just laugh because it's stuck. Here we go, one, two, three. And you open your eyes and your arm's stuck. It's just really weird stuff. You can test it, but it's just stuck. So what I'll get you to do is try to pull it down with the other hand, just for you. You try and pull it down and let it be stuck. All the way down. You stay stuck. In fact, wait a minute. You stay stuck there, okay? Stuck together. That's right. From the shoulder to the elbow to the fist. Stuck. Okay. <laughs> On the floor. Just look right here into my eye, right into the pupil of my eye. Take a deep breath. And as you breathe out, just relax all the way down, all the way deep. Relaxing, relaxing. Sleep. That's right, all the way down, all the way deep. Drifting, dreaming, relaxing. As I drop that arm, you'll go a thousand times deeper into it. You'll sleep. Going deeper, deeper, deeper. That's right, all the way down, all the way deep. Drifting, dreaming, relaxing. Okay, so Lana. Look into my eyes. <laughs> Just this one, that one, right here, right in the pupil of this eye. Focus, focus, focus. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just allow yourself to relax all the way down, all the way, sleep. Just drift, dream, relax all the way down, all the way deep. Drifting, dreaming, relaxing. <laughs> Shoulders together, you're stuck together again. That's right, really stuck. In fact, we, uh, you, you two are going, doing really, really well. I really like you two. What's your name? Reeve. 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 Okay, all right. When I... Um, and clap my hands again, you'll jump up, stand to attention, and go back to back. And now you're stuck. And you're stuck. Your feet are stuck, your backs are stuck, your butts are stuck, your shoulders are stuck, your heads are stuck, and you're just stuck. Now, they're two pretty fit looking young women, so I want you to try as hard as you can to become unstuck. Really try hard. You can't, if you're just stuck, you stay standing. That's right. Butt stuck, feet stuck, back stuck. And uh, you'll just stay there standing at attention. Okay. Dakota. <laughs> Is this something you usually do on a Friday night? No. <laughs> you read? No. No. Okay. So what's your name? Demi. 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 Okay. Just, oh, sorry. Can I have this on? All right. Just relax. Just focus only on the pupil in this eye. Okay, so in a moment, I'm going to count the three. When I get the three and clap my hands, funny thing will happen. You'll be set up, eyes open, and the number two will just disappear. It won't exist anymore. There'll be a gap between um, one and three, like there is between three and four, four and five, five and six, and so on. And when you try to count, it'll be one, three, four, five, six. It'll be really strange. And that number will just be gone, gone, gone. Nod your heads if you understand. Okay, here we go. One, three, sitting up, eyes wide open. Fantastic. The moment I click my fingers, Dakota, that number's just gone, gone, gone. That, there's a gap between one and three, three and four and so on. Nod your head if you understand. Terrific. One, three, sitting up. Okay, let's just try the other hand for a moment. Just hold that up. Try to count. One, three, four, five, six. <laughs> let's try from this side. One, Three, four, five, six. Better try this hand. One, three, four, five, six. So six and six is twelve. Yeah. Yeah. So how many fingers have you got? Oh, count them again. <laughs> One, three, four, five, six, seven. No, start from there. One, three, four, five, six. So it's six and six. Twelve. <laughs> Give her a big round of applause. She is very talented. Now, in a moment, I'll count to three, click my fingers, and you'll see in front of you what appears to be a barbell. It'll be a blue barbell, and you'll find that when you try to pick it up, you can't, because it's stuck to the ground. You're, try as hard as you can. You can grab it with both hands, 
and the two of you won't be able to pick it up. It'll just be stuck, stuck to the ground. Your hands will be stuck to it, and you'll be stuck to the ground. Just nod at your head if you understand. And as soon as you grab it, it will be stuck. You won't be able to pick it up. It'll just be stuck to the ground. And no matter how hard you try, I mean, I've seen you lift weights before, but not this one. This one's just too heavy. Try harder. Try harder. That's it, squat. Use your legs, but you're stuck. You're just stuck. Man, how's this going to look in the gym? So what's... What's happening? What's happening? Use all 12 of your fingers. Let me get my form. <laughs> yeah, get your form. That's it. Squat. Oh, and as hard as you can. Really try. Come on. Come on. There's two of you on this. There's two of you on it. What are you doing there? Go again. <laughs> Go again. The two of you. One, two, three. Stuck. Uh, I thought they were made of sterner stuff. <laughs> you're going to see Talia in front of you and Rhi, you're going to see Amy in front of you. Okay. Now they're going to point, I've just given them the power of the hypno, hypno gun. So when you sit up, in the moment I'll click my fingers, when you sit up, they'll do the hypno gun and they'll shout sleep and you'll immediately drop back into this position. Just nod your heads if you understand. Okay. So, just hold it. Okay, so here I am. Click my fingers, sitting up, and ready, and... Shift my hands, you'll sit up, you open your eyes, you'll look at me, and when I click my fingers, the memory of your name will be gone, gone, gone. You won't be able to say your name, get to your name, and the further, the harder you try, the further it goes away. You just won't be able to say it, speak it, you won't even get to it. My name's Wayne, I forget your name. You came here with a name, didn't you? But you've forgotten. <sighs> okay, well, my name's Wayne, I forget your name. Right. Sorry? I forget your name. <laughs> <laughs> really hard. When I click my fingers again, the only language you'll be able to speak is alien in whatever bloops, bleeps, blops, and that is for you. I love it. Yeah. Hey, Dakota, you look like a girl who's got her ear to the ground. What's the goss in the gym? <laughs> That's incredible. I want to know more about this. What's the real juice? Who's, who's doing it with who? <laughs> How are we going so far? Is that right? Good. Glad you're enjoying yourselves. Okay. So uh, in a moment you're going to hear the sound of farts. You think it's coming from each other? There'll be the most disgusting smell in the world. Oh, and it just gets worse and worse and worse, worse and worse and worse, to the point where you almost want to throw up. It's just in your mouth. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, I don't know if I can be near you. Oh, that is just a shocker. So tell me, who was, who was doing that? Oh, that's right, you're speaking alien. <laughs> How bad was it? <laughs> was it that bad? <laughs> and what was that like over here? Like, what was she doing? That was a shocker, wasn't it? Okay, so in a moment you'll hear that sound again. And then when you hear that sound again, it'll be like the most beautiful perfume in the world. It'll be like lavender, roses, perfume, Chanel. It'll just be stunning. It'll be such a beautiful smell. Here we go. Oh, roses, lavenders. And just nod as you enjoy. As you enjoy this beautiful aroma. That's good, isn't it? And you know where it's coming from. When I click my fingers, you can be unstuck and you just get closer to the source of that beautiful aroma. That's right. You just want to get closer and closer.
to this is just on oh that you want more of that no oh, that is beautiful oh, oh that is just stunning that's it all the way all the way into that oh that is beautiful what are you doing <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> They're sitting up and feeling the love there. You won't be able to help yourself. You can feel it. That's it. You can reach out. It's okay. We're all grown ups here. This feels really good. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, that's it. That's it. Just leaning forward slightly. Just feeling how good this feels. Yes. Oh, oh beautiful. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is the one. That's it. Sleep. That's it. All the way down. All the way deep. In a moment, I'll click my fingers. I'll give you the world's biggest hypnotic joint. Nice. Yeah. There's nothing ain't good on TV. And you can both smoke it. You haven't had your after work socials. And just really enjoy the evening. Here we go. And it's yours. You can share it with him if you like. Have a smoke. That's it. You can share it with him if you like. Get him in the mood. It's business time. It's business time. And some people, even if they haven't smoked before, they'll use their imagination to create that. So it doesn't mean they've done it before. Bit rough, is it? Bit harsh on the throat? Yes. It's business time. Are you going to share it with him? He's down there, he's sitting on it. He's gone. <laughs> oh yeah. Doesn't matter, it just gets funnier. And <laughs> funnier. This time. It's just so funny, funny, funny. It's so splitting. It's hurting his stomach. It's just so funny, so funny. You're a winner in the lottery. However, you've lost your ticket. You don't know where it is. But the problem is, you've lost the ticket. <laughs> lost the ticket. I don't know who's got. Maybe Dave's holding the ticket. Dave could be holding the ticket. I heard he could be a tight ass. Is Dave a tight ass? He could be holding. When I click my fingers, you can get up, run over there and check his pockets. See if he's got the ticket. Quick, quick, don't let him get away. See if he's got the, see if he's got that bloody ticket from me. Well, get his socks, get his socks. Maybe his socks. Get his socks. <laughs> <laughs> quick, go check him. Go check him now. Now, check him now. Here they come, get ready, get ready. Point it. Catch up, catch up. Now, 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 your fingers. <laughs> you have the power. Here in front of your friends, people you hang out with, push weights with. Uh, tonight, I think the uh, ovarian cancer of Australia will be very happy that you've come along and supported this event. So we uh, can raise some money for them. And I think you should give a very big round of applause for these two. That's for you. That's for you. How beautiful it is to be a snake handler. Just uh, not yet if you understand, Steve. Terrific. Okay, I'll take that back. And uh, that's yours. Okay, so here we go. When I, I'll count from one to three. When I get to three, you'll be wide awake, refreshed, relaxed, alert, feeling great in every way. Those suggestions just for this room and then the other one about loving yourself goes beyond the room. Here we go. One, two, three. Wide awake. Sitting up, eyes open. Stand up. Take a bow. 
you have been the stars of the show. That's it. That applause, that adoration is for you. You've done so well. So, uh, that's right. I uh, didn't catch your name earlier, mate. Steve. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Steve, good to meet you. Handling my bio. Oh, really? How should you handle a snake? Oh. Yeah, how do you milk me there? And, uh, sorry, I, my name's Wayne. Your name is? I'm the Queen. You're the Queen. <laughs> Amy and Talia, bring them back to me before they leave, please. Okay, because you've got the, the crown. Okay, so it's. So lovely to meet you, Queen Dakota. Might even have a name. I don't know. Oh, and, uh, oh okay. Just, just hold the head. <laughs> That's oh. right, good bit of education. Can you show me? So. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a double knot to Queen Dakota. And I'm your loyal servant. Okay, thank you. Your audience awaits you. <laughs> no, that's it. Yeah, show the other people that everyone else is out. She's the queen with the bars back down. You hold the close. You hold the close. You get out there. Anything else? Just introduce them. The snake is okay. You want anything else from him? That's all. That is literally all. Snake's okay. I'm in the tools. Do you have the trailer? Nah, man. No trailer. You're a pagan. Man in the blue shirt. It's not each other, it's your audience. The man in the blue shirt, I think. And uh, this man in the dark blue shirt. Up here. You've been serenaded. How long has it been since you've been serenaded? Look at the snake wrapped around your neck. Catch him, catch him, catch him. Gee, get with her. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Look into their eyes. Look into their eyes. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm just going to leave it. Amy, do it. You've got the power, Amy. You've got the power. Time. Sleep. Well, oh, sorry. <laughs> we'll see you in the gym. Wake. My darling. Go. Oh, I can't see. Hey, Dee. What are you doing? Okay, thanks for coming. We had a fantastic show. We had some great volunteers. You've seen the video. It was just a, an absolute hoot. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you turning up. So we'll see you next time. Yeah, but what have you done in the last hour? Like, what have you done? You made me stay here. Yeah, well, I know, and then what did you do? During the show, you got told you didn't know the number two and you didn't know your name. That's why I asked you number two in Dakota. You weren't, you weren't able to say your name, not half an hour ago. You, you went one, three, four, five, six. It's on, it's on film, you can see it. That's what I'm all up. And we would ask, they'd ask your name, they'd say what's your name, and you wouldn't know your name. You wouldn't be able to say your name.